Uh, I'm Tim Fagan, uh, Vice President and Market Manager for Clear Channel Radio, and today we're uh, bringing the cars out of the south lot here to the staging area um, so that they can be reunited with their uh, owners today. Yeah, we've, uh, um, we've gotten um, about a hundred cars out of the uh, south lot into the staging area, and uh, at noon today we'll uh, uh, begin reuniting uh, individuals with their cars. Um, we've got insurance providers out here um, uh, for them to talk to, and hopefully by now they've, prior to coming out here, have contacted their insurance company. Are, are you, so you're going to bring people in individually? No, they will. We will tell them, and then they can come down and drive down here. Um, if they can drive away, that would be one thing. If it has to be towed away, then they can gather their belongings, um, load them into another car, and then uh, take it wherever they uh, see fit. What do you What do you think is going to happen? People are just going to come in and check them out, then. I think so. I think that uh, depends upon um, the degree of damage, and they'll assess that and make their own judgment on what they'd like to do. Because you don't really. Uh, as, as soon as we get cars out of the staging area, um, we can quickly bring more cars in. Oh my gosh, I've been stressed about this. I've been like ready to snap. <laughs> I'm on unemployment. I'm unemployed. I'm a single parent, and if I, you know, lose my car, I've, I got another beater vehicle. I can put a couple thousand dollars into but I, I've got nothing to work oh, with so, yeah. I, this is like this is it you know either I sustain and continue to have the, this car that I'm probably not going to want if it got you know seat level of water or something yeah. I'm not going to want it. it's not right. going to be the same but very inconvenient for the two people that I've had to borrow vehicles from very frustrating my father had to give up a doctor's appointment it's not like I can afford to miss work <laughs> It's it's an unfortunate circumstance for everybody. I'm not really pointing fingers and laying blame, but it would just be nice if somebody actually admitted to fault. 